Hi everyone, uh, Ian uh, for online tennis instruction. Um, just want to show you something real quick on, on, on speed and spin. So when we work with players, you know, the question is always, how do I get more racket speed? How do I get more spin? And uh, uh, one of the best tips I can give you is to learn to play up. Tennis is an up game. I always tell my players, I always have to remind them that tennis is an up game. Even after they've played for many years, you always have to remind players, tennis is an up game. There's a net in front of you and the court's only 78 feet long. So you have to learn to play up. Okay, so the, the reason players lose confidence in their swings is because the, 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 the swing path becomes too flat. So the ball doesn't have any rotation. So, so to, to, to be able to speed your racket up, the ball needs to rotate forward. You want the air to turn around the ball so that the ball goes back in the court. So you want the ball to have topspin rotation. So how do you do that? Um, I mean, many, many different ways to, to train that. Uh, a very good way is to uh, hit a couple of shots where you, you don't go forward at all, you just go straight up. So in the beginning of your practice or whenever you want to work on this, do, do the buggy whip or what, what some people call the reverse forehand. But what you do is you just, you just get your racket straight up on the back of the ball. Can you see? So I'm, I'm, I'm not actually following through this way, I'm just taking my racket straight up on the back of the ball. I actually make myself a little bit late at contact just to get that feel of what, it, what it's like to get up on the back of the ball. All of a sudden the ball starts to spin forward, right? And as you get better and better at that, you just, you just speed up more. So now I just go faster and faster and faster. And you'll see uh, the quality of that shot on the other side. And if you watch the pros, you notice that anytime they lay that contact, that's, that's pretty much what they do. They don't, they don't go through, they go up because they want to maintain the speed of the racket. But the quality of the incoming ball was very good. So they, got, they caught the ball a bit late. So now the, the trajectory becomes almost straight to the sky. So go out there and do this a little bit on purpose and, and see if that helps you. So practice your, your speed and spin by doing the reverse forehand or getting up on the back of the ball this way. And once you feel that, then you start, you're going to start to be able to apply it on, on, a, on a normal contact, which is more in front of you. You'll start to see the ball rotate off your racket much better. Ian is now available for OTI private lessons in Boca Raton, Florida. When you work with Ian, you get state-of-the-art instruction according to the OTI methodology with instant video feedback on the court. If you want to take your game to the next level with private lessons, simply click the link inside this video for all the details.